We can use linear functions to forecast future values. It might be the case that a linear function is a good approximation, or it might be just that precision isn't that important. In this case, we're going to forecast the population of Australia in 2030. We assume a linear function of the form y equals ax plus b. We have two points, x1 and y1, so we'll have x1 is the year uh, 2000, and y is the population. Just to keep the numbers manageable, we'll have y in millions. I'll note that. Our second point, x2, y2 is the population in 2010. We'll use the slope formula to get the slope A and then the point slope formula to get the final form of our equation. We have our slope formula. We plug in the values for the x's and the y's. Do the calculation and we get the slope is 0 0.3. Our point slope formula, we substitute in the values for y1 and x1 and a that we've calculated. We rearrange that and we get our linear function for population growth. Once we have our growth equation, we can use it to forecast. With our equation, we substitute in the appropriate value of x, so x equals 2030 for the year. So our forecast population y will equal 0 0.3 times 2030 minus 580, uh, which is 28. Recall our units of population were millions. So our forecast population is 28 million, and we write that conclusion down.